guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Once again with the M140i. It has been a minute, it's been two months since I've driven that car so I am understandably very very excited to film today's video. And I, I thought that well the first drive in two months can't be just some random normal boring motorway journey it has to be something special so i have teamed up with ultimate drives to bring you guys one of my favorite roads in my local area which is of course hampshire now i'll give you guys more details about ultimate drives when we're on the move because i'm just too excited um, we'll have a quick run around the car before we do that because there is some changes which have been made um, which i know a lot of you are pleased about uh, of course, mainly of the stripes. <laughs> so have a look at that before heading out onto the roads and enjoy this thing. I think today it's going to be mainly consisting of driving this car. <laughs> so before we go any further in today's video, I have big news. Well, kind of, anyway. So I have just released my first ever limited edition item on the Hampshire Photography Shop. Only 50 of these reflective logo stickers will be made, priced at four pounds each. Shipping within the UK is free of charge, but an added one pound for anywhere overseas. As always, there will of course be a link down in the description, but you'll have to be quick because once they're gone, they're gone. So here is the car, now stripeless, um, which still to me looks a little bit weird, not gonna lie. Uh, it does look a little bit naked, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. Uh, a lot of questions revolving around the eyebrows on the front and the gloss black side skirt extensions. They are both staying. There's chrome underneath here, which I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see if I do that. There you go, you can see the little chrome strip. And because the rest of the car is dechromed, it'll look silly if that's chrome. And also I like the uh, gloss black wrap here with the Maxton side skirt. But anyway, that's besides the point. We have a fresh tank of V-Power, which surprisingly only cost me about 50 quid, <laughs> which is amazing. But we are here on the A272. Basically, it runs from Winchester, which is over there, to Petersfield, which is over there. That is the road over there. There's honestly not many cars going past. There's actually quite a lot of bikes. <laughs> this is a biker road um, and is one of my favorites, one which I've driven a number of times um, and we got some decent weather it's not raining it looks to be brightening up um, it's currently very early in the morning I think it's only just gone eight I got up extremely early this morning uh, to prep the car get it all fueled up and to get here um, but yeah even though the car has not been driven in so long it is still relatively clean although because it's been sat in the garage it has got a layer of dust on it most of which I have blown off already um, but yeah super super excited to finally get back out in the car, but anyway, without further ado, let's hop in the car, get it fired up, and get over to that road, heading that way. Um, they pointed me in the right direction um, to 
find some cool roads. I actually found the Route Napoleon and also the Col de Torini through them. They're all listed um, on the app as well. It's a free app. There'll be links down in the description and down below for you guys to, to check it out. Uh, they're doing loads of work to it at the moment, updating uh, more roads like this one. Uh, I certainly will be uploading more roads uh, when I get to drive them at least. But there's lots of changes going on with the app, that is for sure. So if you guys are out there wanting to plan a road trip somewhere but don't know how to get the best out of the roads, then check out Ultimate Drives. Like I said, there's a link down in the description and down below. On there you can search where you are, even there might be some roads which other people have loaded on local to you which you don't even know. Uh, it's a worldwide thing, so literally wherever you are in the world, there will be a road for you to drive if you don't know it. Ready. Uh, I certainly, well, I was planning to be using it for my road trip actually in about a month's time. I've had to cancel it, but hopefully I'll be doing something within the British Isles fairly soon uh, because it's cool to, to still visit new places, but maybe not so far away from home. Um, so yeah, a huge thank you to Ultimate Drives for sponsoring today's video. And with that said, I think we should uh, drop some gears and disappear. <laughs> driven this road in actually probably about a year and as you can see with all the bikes coming the other way it's a very popular route for the bikers um, but yeah I couldn't have just <laughs> I couldn't have just done a few junctions on the motorway could I I had to do a nice road and even though we do have a touch bit of traffic actually I think I might pull over in this lane by just to, to let that golf carry on a bit so we can make the most out of this So, just pulled over quickly in an empty pub car park at the moment. Just take a quick breather and let the car cool down a little bit. It is definitely smelling a little bit hot <laughs> at the moment, but ah, oh, it is so good to get back behind the wheel of this car. You have no idea how much I've missed it. And actually, I haven't driven the A272 in quite a while, so it's, uh, it's good to be made familiar with it. I've seen a lot of cool cars, a lot of Astins actually. And again, like I said earlier, a lot of bikers. But yeah, what do you guys think about the uh, the strike delete is what I'm going to call it now. It's, for me, it still does look a little bit weird, but I'm sure I will get used to it. Of course, still repping the C2F4 sticker. Those are the guys who did the vinyl work and obviously did the remaining uh, vinyl work that's still on the car. But I have a little plan. I've just remembered there is quite a cool little location, quite local to here. It does mean taking a quick detour from uh, the Ultimate Drive's route but it will be worth it, I promise. So I think, well, let's go over and do that now. It's only about 10 minutes away, I think. Um, and uh, fingers crossed, we can have a peek at quite a few very, very cool cars. But anyway, I'll be back in. Let's hit the road. Now, if my calculations are correct, just round this roundabout is a little place called Lanzante. Now they um, are renowned for road legalizing the P1 GTR, working on a lot of uh, F1s and F1 GTRs, actually now working on the Senna GTRs, uh, road legalizing those, as well as a few other special one-off projects like the P1 GT or limited number of projects, sorry. Uh, anyway, where is it? I think it is in here. So, oh look at that, coming the other way. I'm not sure if you're gonna see this or not. That is a GT2 RS. Very nice. <laughs> anyway, we can pull in here. Yes, I am correct. Oh, I'm definitely in the right place. <laughs> oh my. Okay, have a look at this. Okay. Two Senna GTRs. Number one, there. Number two, there. <laughs> I don't really want to get too close, to be honest, because obviously it's a pretty private facility, but it was only five, ten minutes out of the way for me. Um, on my little route this morning, um, but yeah, that is definitely worth coming to look at. Look at that! Wow! Okay, so we are now back on track. You probably see in front of me there's a lot of cyclists on the road at the moment, as you can probably imagine. People aren't really driving, um, instead they're cycling. You hear that intake up front. You know what, it's been so long since I've driven 
in this car that I've almost forgotten what it's like. You've got those intermittent pops and bangs you get from the exhaust, of course it doesn't do it all the time. When it does do it, it's pretty loud. Of course now the car is really quite hot, um, so I don't think it's going to do it. Um, but just driving these roads, roads which are fairly local to me, and this one isn't the road I thought it was, so I haven't driven it before. It's just chapter wing, it looks like it's loving life on a Sunday morning. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, just driving roads which are near home, but surprisingly good. Which shows that you don't have to go a million miles to find good roads. Um, and obviously with the help of Ultimate Drives, I've been able to uh, to do that. And this is definitely going to be my, my normal route now, I think, because, uh, well, not only has it got my name on it, the Winchester Loop, <laughs> um, but it's also really good fun as well. Uh, get up early morning, on a weekend, and enjoy it on a nice sunny day. Of course, you do have to do a little bit of slaloms around all the people jogging and the, the cyclists, like we've got one up, coming up here. Um, but yeah, no, it's been great. Absolutely fantastic to get back in this car. It just puts a smile on my face. Um, and it's annoying because the GT86, which rather strangely is the more daily um, car, uh, in the garage. Of course I haven't been able to drive because of the engine recall which was meant to be done just before um, lockdown so kind of early March or mid-March but that hopefully fingers crossed should be going back in to be completely redone um, and all sorted so I can drive it again and hopefully get started with the modifications. Oh, but yeah, This road just keeps on getting better and better. I'm not sure if you're going to see from the GoPro but just on either side here we've just got amazing views so we're right on a high spot you might be able to see it as we come down here actually yeah there we go look at this oh dear hello thank you <laughs> the one car you see and it's on the narrowest bit <laughs> but yeah no this is super fun super fun indeed anyway as we're surrounded by all these trees uh, blocking all of the light uh, we are getting close to home now and i am going to wrap it up because uh, we are fairly quickly going through some fuel on these to head back home and get this video edited but once again a huge thank you to ultimate drives for sponsoring today's video all the links down to them and the app will be down in the description down below and i hope you guys are glad that we're back behind the wheel of the 140 and hopefully the gt86 won't be too far behind but anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures Stay